Welcome back. Would you eat lab-grown chicken? Well, an unprecedented move by the FDA last week could change how we consume meat. We spoke with the founder of Upside Foods, the company at the forefront of this. The fact that FDA greenlit Upside Foods cultivated chicken to move forward to coming to market is something that's never happened in the history of humanity. Uma Valetti is the CEO and founder of Upside Foods, a California-based company behind the first lab-grown meat to receive FDA clearance, bringing it one step closer to U.S. grocery stores and restaurants. FDA agreed with our assessment that cultivated chicken is safe to eat. But what is it? We'll take high-quality cells from a chicken or an egg, and we grow them with highly nutritious feed, which has a combination of proteins and fats and, 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 and sugars and vitamins and minerals. But we don't have to raise and slaughter a chicken for it. Valetti, a cardiologist who worked at the Mayo Clinic, says he stopped eating meat in medical school when he saw the detriment of mass meat production. But then he saw an opportunity for a slaughter-free option. During my work in cardiology, we were working on stem cells and injecting them into patients' hearts to regrow the heart muscle. And that's where this idea came from of could you grow meat directly from animal cells? And if so, what would that mean for the world? It has significantly lower environmental uh, impact, which means less downsides, less greenhouse gas emissions, less uh, water pollution, and also, really importantly, I think less use of energy for making the same amount of meat in the world. With explosive population growth and global demand for meat expected to double in the next 30 years, Valetti believes a lab-grown option that takes two to three weeks as opposed to months or years to make is the innovative solution we need. We're looking for a future where we can produce uh, very large uh, quantities, uh, quantities of meat uh, without having the downsides of intense uh, animal agriculture. Investors include top meat producer Tyson, Bill Gates, Richard Branson, and entrepreneur Kimball Musk, who earlier this year cooked and ate the cultivated chicken on stage at the prestigious Life Itself Health Conference. Valetti says you too may be able to cook this meat at home within months. The next step is for the USDA to inspect our production facility in California and also give us a label. And Valetti said this moment is especially significant because he spoke to us from uh, India. That's where he's attending his father's memorial. Mm. His father passed before getting to see the realization of his son's dream, but he said this would have made his, him really proud. And do you know how much this will cost? Good question, and that's the million dollar question. Well, um, what they're saying is it's, it's a lot cheaper than it would have been initially when this came about in 2013, the first right. cultivated beef uh, burger was created for $300,000. <laughs> Obviously not, not that much. <laughs> It'll be a premium price, they say, initially, mm -hmm. but then they want it to be cheaper than the traditional meats you would buy right now. And is he growing anything else in the lab? <laughs> they say beef will come after the chicken and then lobster. So, would you eat it? Mm. <laughs> Let someone else try it first.